should all be as lucky as Betty White, who turned 95 today and is as radiant and as charming as ever. She sat down with Yahoo Global News anchor Katie Couric to talk about her favorite TV moments and her thoughts on how to heal a divided America. Isn't Happy that birthday to you. <laughs> oh. This is a big birthday for you, Betty. 95. Can you believe it? Nope. I re you know, seriously, I can't. Betty White has been on television for almost as long as television has been around. Betty White. Starring in Life with Elizabeth in 1953 to playing the saucy Sue Ann Nivens on the Mary Tyler Moore show. Oh, my poor baby. <laughs> years later, Betty White was already a fixture in the living rooms of millions of Americans. Thank you for being a friend. But it was in 1985 as Rose Nyland from St. Olaf, Minnesota on the smash hit show The Golden Girls that she won the hearts of a new generation. Dorothy, you're the smart one and Blanche, you're the sexy one and Sophia, you're the old one. And... <laughs> I'm the nice one. <laughs> Everybody always likes me. The old one isn't so crazy about you. How would you feel if they did remake The Golden Girls? I'd want to do it. You would? <laughs> I'm sure they'd want you, too, oh, Betty. Oh, I'm sure. At 95, I'm sure they'd want me. You were almost Blanche instead of Rose. Yes, yes. But then, all of a sudden, Rose came up, and I loved her because she was so innocent and um, not the brightest nickel in the drawer. Go on, it would do us both a world of good to hear the things you'd change about me. Ah, but, well, there is one thing, Rose. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> but she was fun to do. And why not? Everyone else seems to. Betty! Betty White is one of the most welcome guest stars on television. She tackled football's biggest night with this unforgettable Snickers ad from the 2010 Super Bowl. What is your deal, oh, man? Oh, come on, man. You've been riding me all day. Mike, you're playing like Betty White out there. That's not what your girlfriend said. Oh, baby. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What was the most fun gig you ever had? There have been so many of them. <laughs> the Snickers commercial? That was great fun. And even became the oldest host in the history of Saturday Night Live. That was probably the most fun I've ever had and the scariest. Just the fact of being up there and doing it and talking to the audience and in the back of your mind you're thinking, I'm doing Saturday Night Live. People say, but, but Betty, Facebook is a great way to connect with old friends. Well, at my age, if I want to connect with old friends, I need a Ouija board. <laughs> When people hear your name, what do you hope they think of? Oh, she's so gorgeous and sexy. No, I don't. I, I just appreciate the fact that people have been so kind to me all these years. The fact that I'm still working, that's, that's the, the, the thing I'm most grateful for, that I still get asked for jobs. She's still paying it forward, caring for her beloved animals and spreading a positive message at a time when positivity is sorely needed. What do you think about the state of our country and how divided it seems to be? It's very divided and we're not in the best place we've ever been. But I think that's the time to buckle down and really work positively as much as you can. I know it sounds boring, but I am a, a positive thinker. I'm a cockeyed optimist. And that's why I've stayed happy all my life. For Nightline, I'm Katie Couric in Los Angeles. And you can see Katie's full interview with Betty White at Yahoo.com.